Gracious and heavenly God, first we thank you for the life-giving rain. We're mindful that um, for those of us south of here, it was more than life-giving, but life-taking as well. And that is part of the fabric of, of, of this landscape of living and dying on which we act out who we are and our relationship with thee. We pray for those who have suffered uh, because of this outbreak of storm and we pray that their families and their friends will be comforted um, somehow in some way knowing that you were with them in their time of sorrow. We're grateful that you have been with each of us in our own particular times of difficulty and we lift up to you your healing power with Elizabeth and ask that you restore her to good health. We're grateful that she could be back in your home singing songs of praises and we give thee thanks that she is with us. We give thee thanks for your healing hand with Stephanie's aunt and ask that you be with Aunt Sue and restore her to good health. We pray a serious prayer that you be with Colleen's son-in-law and uh, with her daughter, who has been suffering grievously for some time, and ask that you give them a measure of relief from the trials that they have been subjected to over the years, and that Jim would find uh, employment satisfactory and uh, rejuvenating. We pray for him, even as we pray for his beloved, and ask that um, her MS would at least be lessened. <coughs> Gracious and heavenly God, we thank you um, for the coming of the holidays, and we ask that travel mercies be upon and with all of our friends, certainly the Hadads and um, Hananias, but for all people that will be traveling soon. We give thee praise for Evelyn, that she's healthy and able to see her family in Arizona for Mother's Day. Would that her trip be smooth and a, and a joy, and that she be brought back to us, for we love her so much. We ask that you be with um, a friend of a member of this fellowship, that you be with Judy Hirsch's family, and that you have received Judy into your arms and that you are comforting her family, we would pray that. We lift up to you our students and uh, ask that these next few weeks be times of joy for them and safety. And we would ask that um, they be returned to us in this fall safely. Gracious and heavenly God, we pray for our fractured world. We pray for our president. We pray that your will would be done and not those of the machinations of the human heart which seemingly are bent on destruction continually. Gracious and heavenly God, for those whose hearts are broken, may they be mended. For those whose bodies are worn out, would they be refreshed. For those whose minds are unclear, that they might find clarity. For those whose souls are filled with bitterness and anger and darkness, that your kindness would enter them. We would pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, and we would pray this as we sing the Lord's Prayer. And let us stand. <clears throat>
you so much. Remain standing, and as I say to you, may the peace and love of Jesus be with you. And also with you. And please extend the hand of peace to everyone.